All right, well, I've had the Note 2 now for a couple of weeks, I think it is. Got it on the 26th-ish when the date came out. It's now 7th of October. So I've had it for a couple of weekends and I'm getting to grips with it. The initial amazing wow factor of, oh, it's so shiny, has kind of worn off and I'm just kind of looking at it for what it is. Now, if you haven't lived under a rock or even watching this video, you probably already know that it's got a slightly better camera, it's just a little bit bigger, it's slightly higher resolution, you know exactly what process is in it. You know that if you run a benchmark on it, you're going to get slightly higher graphs than what you would get on the other one. I've never seen the point of that. I mean, I'm more of the sort of like, I'd rather eat the pizza than look at how many calories the pizza's and what has got compared to other pizzas of the same flavour. I'll never understand that benchmarking stuff. It's all very well knowing how much horsepower something's got. It's not that you drive it, you know what it's like. So the things you might not know is, is it worth getting? Is it worth spending? Is it worth the 600 quid kick to the balls that it costs you to buy it outright contract free like this? Is it worth upgrading and spending 40 odd quid a month instead of what the Note 2 would, would be costing you? Now, in my opinion, I think that it's better than the Note 2, but I also think the Note 2 is a stunning phone. My girlfriend has pinched my Note 2 for now, so I can't really do a direct comparison. I will, I'll get it back at some point and, and do a comparison for you. But the things to bear in mind is, it's it's a lot more money, and it does feel like next generation. The, the Note 2 is obviously a better version of the Galaxy S3, and then the Note 3 is a better version, or a bigger version, more steroided up version of the S4. But it does feel revolutionary, it does feel like a next gen, but saying that, once you let the initial impact of the slightly better photos that you'll get, the bigger screen, the fact that it's new, slightly different shape, the, the feeling of the back, things like that, once you get over all that and you look at it, it is essentially the same thing. Now if I saw a brand new Note 2 at exactly the same time as a brand new Note 3, yeah I'd probably lean towards a Note 3 because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, a little bit this, a little bit that, but it, if you've got the Note 2 and you're considering selling it, going into another contract trap or doing all that other thing, me personally, well that's a bit stupid because I did, I did the opposite. <laughs> if I was you, put it this way, uh, and your Note 2 is still in good condition, you haven't smashed the screen, you haven't bent it or crushed the edges of it, rather than just plump and go in and buy the other one straight away and trap yourself out, I think you're probably better, in all honesty, waiting for the next generation because it is better at everything it does, apart from mine drops off the Wi-Fi all the time. Every time I uh, try and stream a video or browse a web, it drops off the internet quite a lot. Now, my Note 2 never did that. Could be a faulty unit, could be a faulty batch, I'm not entirely sure. But, in all honesty, when I first got the Note 2, I was completely blown away with it because I'd had the uh, Galaxy S2 before it. Uh, sorry, Galaxy S3, and it, it just felt amazing. Now, jumping up to this from the Note 2, I'm jumping up from a really, really good phone in the first place, so it had a, it had its work out, and for it to actually impress me, it did a really good job. I was very, very happy with what I received and how well it was. Still getting to grips with it now. Obviously, it's got a fantastic battery. The stylus implementation is actually usable this time. Now, I know a lot of people say, I never use a stylus. I'm not a big uh, stylus user, but the scrapbooking on it is actually quite good. The fact that you can scribble out a phone number and ring it, they're actually useful things. On the Note 2, just using S Note and you had to sort of minimise the top tray, it seemed a bit fiddly and when you actually did handwrite a note, there wasn't a great deal of things you could do with it. So I do think the Note implement, the pen implementation is quite good, although as time goes on I probably won't be using it as much as everybody else who buys it just for the stylus. I only ever buy it really for the battery power. The battery power is a sat nav for me. I browse the internet and I watch videos on it and I take photos with it. That's that's the main bug of things. I don't really go mad on all the apps. I have about, I don't know, 20 core apps that I use all the time. I don't play games on it uh, or really, I might like download one to try it, but I always uninstall it. So my point that I want to make with this sort of initial impression is yes, it's a very good phone. It's a lovely upgrade from the other Note. If they both came out at the same time, this would basically be like the Note steroid version of compared to Note 2 would be the normal version and you wouldn't really see a massive difference other than the pen is implemented better the pen can go in uh, both ways you don't have to just sit in the corner you can slide it out turn it around put it in the other way you don't have to faff with it in that way but yeah it's a uh, 
it's worth it if you're absolutely dying for the upgrade and you want that much more power because it is a bit slicker and stuff but if you're thinking of getting a, a new phone and you never had the Note 2 and it's a lot cheaper and you can get a good contract for it I, I'd, I'd get the Note 2. If I got a brand new Note 2 and say if I broke this or lost it I wouldn't be unhappy with it. It's never let me down the Note 2 and this one is obviously a slightly better version than it but when I do a full review and I sort of take it to pieces and sort of, well not take it to pieces but I just sort of compare them side by side, show you what we can do on one, not on the other. Most of it's restricted by software. Yes, the hardware is better in this. You can get, you know, a lot faster scrolling going, you flick through screens a lot quicker. The screen does look a bit more vibrant because it's um because it's a higher resolution stuff, but you never really you never get it to stutter, um really, even though it's got loads of stuff chucked on top of the, the standard Android. But it, it is it is a it's a big bit of money to sort of just fork out there. If you've not got a Note 2 and you do a new upgrade, go for it. If you've got a Note 2, make sure you go and have a play on it and don't, you know, don't just let the fact that it is a slightly better version wow you because when it's died down and when you've got used to it and you, and you sort of, it's the norm, there's not a great deal of difference really. So, I am totally contradicting myself, aren't I? I've said that it's felt next gen and, and a big evolution, but I've also said it feels the same. So, brilliant advice there. Um, I'm glad I don't have to watch these videos because uh, that's not really helping, is it? But specs aside, camera's a lot snappier. It's got the Galaxy camera sort of interface, which is lovely. It's an, uh, it, the, the pictures are sharper than the Note 2 ones, but the Note 2 pictures are great. Stylus implementation's a lot better, the feel of the back and the look of the back's a lot better. If you're one of these people that buys the next generation phone just to be seen with it, why do you do that? What's wrong with you? I, I, don't, I never do that, I do it because I just want to see what's different and what's new and I like to test these things and play with them. But I will, I mean, seeing me sort of waggle a phone around your face isn't a brilliant video, I understand that. I will reposition your camera, film on it go through some of the, the, the things. I want to try and pick out some stuff that no one's really talked about. So I'm sick of, I call them box readers, like Aaron from PhoneDog.com and the guy from the uh, the other phone that sort of says, yes, this handset has a 16 gigahertz blah blah processor. We know that, we can read a box, we can read a website, but yeah, it fits in your pocket, it's slightly better than the other one, or the other one's not rubbish. So, initial impression is, um, wow, it's amazing, it's really shiny out of the box. Bit more mid-term after a week of use, it's like, yeah, it's better than the other note. Two weeks later on, it's like, I'm a bit better off than I was before, but if I had been sort of stuck with the Note 2 for longer, I'd have still been alright. Don't really know what the point of this video is, because all I've done is repeat myself a lot and contradict myself. So I'll probably put a little bit more thought into the next one that I do. But it will be a proper a review. I'll, I'll actually put, face the camera on the table and I'll go through as many things as I can think of. Now, all you need to do is put a comment below saying, do this with it, do that with it. Don't ask me to run any benchmarks. Don't ask me to um, stamp on it or drop it because that's just stupid and I'm not going to do it. All right. So anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So take care now. Bye bye then.